Tonight here on the rant, ranting about the impeachment trial. Some of you are still really fired up about it, but I'm also hearing from several of you who say, hey, you'd rather hash out some other the top stories in the news right now, and we can do both. MSD's higher bills have you calling the rant line. Why are they higher? The sewer agency says they are now paying off loans for infrastructure, and when we asked MSD if the bills would go down once the rebuilding is over, they told us no. We had a big reaction to new plans from JCPS heading toward hiring a new security force for the schools that would have arrest powers and be able to carry a weapons. Your calls on that are front and center tonight. I don't think the resource officers should have ever been removed from the schools. You see, this school year so far, things have not changed. What do they do but have to call the police officers in the event that something comes up? Hey, Doug, my name is Perla Gilbert. I, I think it's good you have security in the schools now. That never happened when I was going to school. Things are worse now, but guns don't need to be carried uh, with them. As someone who works in the Jefferson County Public School System, I work for them. I think it's a fantastic idea that we have armed security officers in the schools. More now on arming school security in Louisville. Curtis in Louisville. I can't think of a reason an officer shouldn't be armed. Why is this a thing? If they can't be trusted with a firearm, they shouldn't be an officer to begin with. Donna Marie in Clarksville, it's better than arming teachers. That argument is the worst thing I've ever heard as an educator. Renee in Louisville, I called MSD about their outrageous rates. The MSD spokesperson said on your newscast last night the rates are high because it was, quote, a dirty job. What a load of BS. They need to cut down the rates in half now. On impeachment, two new polls find a clear majority of Americans want to hear from direct witnesses. Do you? Vanessa in Louisville, of course. If I'm accused of a crime and I know I'm innocent, I'm calling every witness I know to exonerate me. On the other hand, if I'm guilty, I'm hiding everyone because I would know the truth would come out. John in Shelbyville is watching the opening statements. Yesterday, the emperor, Trump, lost his clothes. He can now be seen for what he really is. Pay attention to the impeachment proceedings, folks. Our freedom depends on the outcome. More of you are telling me you want to comment on those high MSD bills you're getting, so go ahead and do it. We're on your side with the rant line. All views are welcome. Here's how you can reach me and the rant. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter at WHAS11Doug. Keep your emails coming to the rant at WHAS11.com. And the toll-free rant line is open at 855-749-1101.